Good evening students. Welcome back to our online session. Hope you all are safe at home. Let's start with our today's new topic of general knowledge. So, in today's session, we will be starting with the next new 11th topic of general knowledge. That is, state, capitals and regional languages. So, let's start our today's topic by giving some introduction on our country, India. So, let's start now. India is a big country with a large area and a population of more than 120 crore. It is surrounded by water on three sides in the south and has the Himalayas spread all along its northern border. It has 28 states and 9 union territories. Delhi is the national capital territory having its own assembly and government. Although Hindi is the national language, India has about 1,652 mother tongues of which 33 are spoken by over 1 lakh people. The number of officially recognized languages is 22. English is widely spoken and used and acts as a link between people of various states speaking different languages. So, now we will see here the states one by one and along with the capitals and their chief languages. Okay? So, let's start with the first state, Andhra Pradesh. Andhra Pradesh is a state in the southeastern coastal region of India. Its capitals are Hyderabad, Vishakapatnam, Amravati, Karnul. People speak Telugu language in Andhra Pradesh. Next state. The second state here is Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh is an Indian state in northeast India. It borders the states of Assam and Nagaland to the south. Its capital is Itanagar. This northeastern Indian state, Arunachal Pradesh, is known for its pristine beauty and the lush green forest. The state is also known as the land of the rising sun. People here speak English and Hindi languages in Arunachal Pradesh. Next state is Assam. Assam is a state in northeastern India known for its wildlife, archaeological sites and tea plantations. The state capital is Dispur. The largest city is Guwahati. People speak Assamese and English languages in Assam. Next state, Bihar. The fourth state, Bihar. Patna, ancient Patliputra city, capital of Bihar state, northern India. Mazapalpur is the second capital of Bihar and capital of North Bihar. That is, northern side of Ganga's river in Bihar. People speak Hindi, Maithili and Urdu languages in Bihar. Okay, children. See the next state, Chhattisgarh. The state was formed by the partition of ten Chhattisgarhi and six 
Gondi speaking districts in the south east of Madhya Pradesh. Its capital city is Raipur. People speak Hindi language in Chhattisgarh. The very next state is after Chhattisgarh is Goa. Now here the capital is Panaji. That is also said as Panji on the north central coast of the mainland district. It is the India's smallest state by the area. People speak Konkani and Marathi languages in Goa. After this, next state is Gujarat. Gandhinagar city, capital of Gujarat state, west central India. It lies on the banks of the Sabarmati river just north of Ahmedabad. People speak Gujarati language in Gujarat. After this, the next state is Haryana. Chandigarh is a city, district and union territory in India that serves as the capital of the two neighboring states of Punjab and Haryana. People speak Hindi language in Haryana. After this, the next state comes is Himachal Pradesh. The mall road is the central business district of Shimla, Himachal Pradesh's capital city. Shimla in summer and Dharamshala in winter. People speak Hindi and Pahadi languages in Himachal Pradesh. After this, next state comes is Jharkhand. Ranchi in its modern form is the capital city of the Indian state of Jharkhand. The city has a moderate climate and was the summer capital of Bihar until Jharkhand was separated in the year 2000. It is popularly known as a city of waterfalls. People speak Hindi language in Jharkhand. Next is Karnataka. Bangalore, officially known as Bengaluru, is the capital of the Indian state of Karnataka. People speak Kannada language in Karnataka. Okay children, the very next state comes after Karnataka is Kerala. Tiruvananthapuram, commonly known by its former name Trivandram, is the capital of Kerala. People speak Malayalam language in Kerala. Next state is Madhya Pradesh. The district derives its name from the district headquarters town Bhopal, which is also the capital of Madhya Pradesh. People speak Hindi language in Madhya Pradesh. After this comes Maharashtra. Mumbai, also known as Bombay, the official name until 1995 is the capital city of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Mumbai lies on the Konkan coast on the west coast of India and has a deep natural harbour. In 2008, Mumbai was named an Alpha World City. People speak Marathi language in Maharashtra. Next comes Manipur. Imphal city, capital of Manipur state, northeastern India. It lies in the central part of the state in the Manipur river valley. People speak Manipuri language in Manipur. Next, Meghalaya. Shillong, the capital of Meghalaya, is located at an altitude of 1,496 meters above the sea level. People speak Khasigero and the English languages in Meghalaya. After this, we are in the 17th state now, that is 
Mizoram. Mizoram is one of the states of North East India with Aizawl as its capital. The name is derived from Mi that is people, Zo that is belonging to the people of Mizoram or Lashai Hills and Ram that is belongs to the land. And thus Mizoram implies land of the hill people. People speaks Mizo and English languages in Mizoram. After this, next state is Nagaland. Kohima situated in the south at an altitude of 1444 meter above sea level occupies pride of place as the capital city of Nagaland. People speaks English and local languages in Nagaland. After Nagaland, the next state comes is Odisha. The state government finally selected Bhuvaneshwar, situated at a distance of 18 miles from Kachak as its new capital. People speaks Odia language in Odisha. Next state is Punjab. The state capital is Chandigarh, a union territory and also the capital of the neighboring state of Haryana. People speaks Punjabi language in Punjab. The five tributary rivers of the Indus River from which the region took its name are the Satlej, Pravi, Bish, Chenab and Jhelum rivers. Okay children. After this, the very next state is Rajasthan. Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan which was founded by Maharaja Savai Jai Singh to on November 18, 1727. Maharaja Savai Jai Singh to was a Kachwaha Rajput who ruled Jaipur from the year 1699 till 1743. Prior to Jaipur, his capital was Ambar, which is 11 km away from Jaipur. People speak Hindi and Marwadi languages in Rajasthan. After this, the very next state comes is Sikkim. Sikkim's capital and the largest city is Gangtok. People speak Hindi, Lepcha, Bhutia and Nepali languages in Sikkim. Next, Tamil Nadu, Chennai, formerly Madras city, capital of Tamil Nadu state. Chennai is a major administrative and cultural center. People speak Tamil language in Tamil Nadu. Next, state is Telangana. The capital of Telangana is Hyderabad and major cities of the state. People speak Telugu language in Telangana. The very next state after Telangana is Tripura. The capital is Agartala near the Bangladesh border in the northwestern part of the state. It is a small but beautiful state. People speak Bengali language in Tripura. Next, Uttarakhand. The winter capital of Uttarakhand is Dehradun, the largest city. It lies in the northwestern part of the state in the foot hills of the Himalayas. People speak Hindi, Gadwali, Komauni languages in Uttarakhand. After this, next state is Uttar Pradesh. On January 26, 1950, when India became a republic, the state was given its present name Uttar Pradesh, literally northern state. Its capital is Lucknow, in the west central part of the state. People speak Hindi and Urdu languages in Uttar Pradesh. After Uttar Pradesh, 
the very next capital is, the very next state is west bengal although in area west bengal ranks as one of the smaller states of india it is one of the largest in population the capital is kolkata that is calcutta people speaks bengali language in west bengal now up to this state let's move on students to the union territories and let's learn about their capital and languages too so the first union territory is andaman and nicobar islands now here port blair is the capital of the union territory of andaman and nicobar islands people speaks bengali hindi telugu tamil and malayalam languages in andaman and nicobar islands the very next union territory after this is chandigarh chandigarh city is the capital of the territory and of the states of haryana and punjab chandigarh's name meaning strong hold of the goddess chandi is derived from the chandi mandir a temple dedicated to the goddess that is located near the town of mani mazra people speaks hindi and punjabi languages in chandigarh after this the very next union territory is dadra and nagar haveli silvasa is the capital of the union territory of dadra and nagar haveli it lies near the west coast and consists of two separate parts dadra is surrounded by the state of gujarat and nagar haveli lies on the borders of maharashtra and gujarat people speaks gujarati and hindi languages in dadra and nagar haveli after dadra and nagar haveli the very next union territory is daman and diu daman is an enclave on the state of gujarat southern coast and diu encompasses an island of the southern coast of gujarat khatiyawar peninsula people speaks gujarati and marathi languages in daman and diu the very next union territory after this is jammu and kashmir shrinagar is the capital from the month of may till october and jammu is the capital from the month of november till april that is shrinagar in summer and jammu is winter that is people speaks kashmiri and dogri languages in jammu and kashmir that is kashmiri language in kashmir and dogri language in jammu clear students the very next union territory after jammu and kashmir is ladakh le is the capital of ladakh people speaks bhoti language in ladakh the very next after this state is lakshadweep the kavarati is the capital of the union territory lakshadweep in india the island of kavarati lies 360 km of the coast of the state of kerala people speaks malayalam language in lakshadweep the next union territory is delhi delhi city and national capital territory north central india the city of delhi actually consists of two components old delhi in the north the historic city and new delhi in the south since 1947 the capital of india built in the first part of the 20th century as the capital of british india people speaks english and hindi languages in delhi now the very last union territory after delhi is puducherry puducherry is the capital itself of the union territory puducherry people speaks english french tamil telugu malayalam languages in puducherry understood students so here <coughs> finally 
I end up with my this today's 11th topic state capitals and regional languages I hope all have very well understood this topic students now it's the textbook reading time open your textbook once we will have a short revision over this topic okay children so open your GK textbook page number 31 now just pay attention as we have done in details everything I will just read out one time and you pay attention okay India is a big country with a large area and a population of more than 120 crore it is surrounded by water on three sides in the south and has the Himalayas spread all along its northern border it has 28 states and 9 union territories Delhi is the national capital territory having its own assembly and government although Hindi is the national language India has about 1652 mother tongues of which 33 are spoken by over 1 lakh people the number of officially recognized languages is 22 English is widely spoken and used and acts as a link between people of various states speaking different languages fill in the names of capitals and chief languages of various states already this we have done in details just now so we'll just have a short glance over it a short revision over it okay students just pay attention in your textbooks page number 31 states capital and language one by one I will discuss quickly all the states along with the capitals and along with their languages and after that we will continue with the union territories okay so the first one is Andhra Pradesh capital of Andhra Pradesh is Hyderabad and language is Telugu next Arunachal Pradesh capital is Itanagar language English and Hindi Assam capital dispute language Assamese and English Bihar capital Patna language Hindi Maithili Urdu Chhattisgarh capital Raipur language Hindi Goa capital Panaji language Konkani and Marathi Gujarat Capital is Gandhinagar, language Gujarati. Haryana. Capital is Chandigarh, language is Hindi. Himachal Pradesh. Capital of Himachal Pradesh is Shimla and language is Hindi and Pahadi. Jharkhand. Capital of Jharkhand is Ranchi and language is spoken over here is Hindi. Karnataka. Capital is Bengaluru and language is Kannada. Kerala. Capital is Tiruvananthapuram and language spoken here is Malayalam. Turn your page number 32. Students just see the next 13 state is Madhya Pradesh. Capital is Bhopal and language here is Hindi. Next Maharashtra. Capital is Mumbai and language here is Marathi Manipur capital here is Imphal and lang uh, language is Manipuri Meghalaya capital here is Shillong and language is Khasigero and English Mizoram capital is Azol and language is Mizo and English Nagaland capital is Kohima and language is English and local language Odisha capital is Bhubaneswar and language is Odia Punjab capital is Chandigarh and language here is Punjabi Rajasthan capital is Jaipur and language here is Hindi and Marwadi Sikkim capital is Gangtok and language here is Hindi, Lepcha, Bhutia Nepali etc. 
Tamil Nadu. Capital is Chennai and language here is Tamil. Telangana. Capital is Hyderabad and language is Telugu. Tripura. Capital is Agartala and language here is Bengali. Uttarakhand. Capital is Dehradun and language here is Hindi, Garwali, Kumauni. Uttar Pradesh. Capital is Lucknow and language is Hindi and Urdu. West Bengal. Capital is Kolkata and language is Bengali. Now students, just move on to page number 33. We will see the Union Territory, its capital and language. So the first one is Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Capital is Port Blair. Language is here is Bengali, Hindi, Telugu, Tamil and Malayalam. Next, Chandigarh. Capital is Chandigarh. Language here is Hindi and Punjabi. Next, Dadra and Nagar Haveli. Capital is Silvasa. Language here is Hindi and Gujarati. Daman and Dew. Capital is Daman. Language is Gujarati and Marathi. Jammu and Kashmir. Capital is Srinagar. Language is Kashmiri and Dogri. Ladakh. Capital is Leh and language is Bhoti. Lakshadweep. Capital is Kavarati and language is Malayalam. Delhi. Capital is Delhi and language is English and Hindi. Puducherry. Capital is Puducherry and language here is English, French, Tamil, Telugu and Malayalam etc. So here we end up with our today's topic. So students, I hope you all have understood this topic, this state capitals and regional languages very well. Ok students, thank you students, stay home, stay safe.